Now let's come to the next page. Why should I waste my life doing something that was beyond my powers? My head would reel but after a few hours I would overcome the state of despondency. Now elder brother scolding has made such an impact that everything what he has told him would reel that means he used to recall everything in his mind and think about it deeply for a few hours so uh, and then he could usually overcome with the state of despondency despondency means he used to lose all the hope and courage to do the work and pledge that means promise to devote myself to studies first he thinks about whatever his brother has told him and then he used to promise himself that he will devote himself to the studies the younger brother will devote himself to studies in no time i would work out a timetable and then he tries to make a timetable the timetable now here starts the timetable he, he says get up at 6 in the morning wash have breakfast and sit down to study english from 6 to 8 arithmetic from 8 to 9 history from 9 to 9:30 then food and to school this routine starts early in the morning only early in the morning at from 6 o'clock okay 6 to 8 he will study english then 8 to 9 arithmetic then 9 to 9:30 he will study history then food and then he will go to school return from school at 3:30 relax for half an hour geography from 4 to 5 grammar from 5 to 6 and half an hour stroll in front of the hostel that means to take a break then eat translation from 8 to 9 hindi from 9 to 10 and then miscellaneous subjects the other subjects from 10 to 11 and then sleep this was the timetable he made for himself so that he can study well but to make a timetable is one thing this is the comment made by the younger brother but to make a timetable is one thing and to put it into practice is another टाइम टेबल को बनाना अल एक बात होती है और उसको प्रैक्टिस में लाना अलग बात होती है द वॉयलेशन वॉयलेशन मीन्स टू हेयर द एक्ट ऑफ रिफ्यूजिंग और ऑनर ऑफ एग्रीमेंट दैट मीन्स बनाया तो था टाइम टेबल बट ही डिड इट फॉलो इट द वॉयलेशन वुड बिगेन ऑन द वेरी फर्स्ट डे द ग्रीन फील्ड्स द जेंटल ब्रीज द रन एंड चेज इन फुटबॉल द स्पीड एंड क्विकनेस इन वॉलीबॉल ऑल दीज वुड ड्रैग मी आउट and i would forget everything the things which he used to love the gentle breeze and the run and chase of the football that means the games he used to love them more than his studies and these things only used to um take his concentration away from the studies and my brother would get his opportunity to adonish that means to scold and sermonize sermonize means here that he would he will give him a long lecture again just like before he did in the, on the previous page we have seen same way he would again scold him regarding his studies even then i was not able to give up play still he don't used to give up his games and play the annual examinations ended now the examination annual examinations ended my brother failed and i passed securing the first position in the class so this thing happened here now he was just two classes ahead of me before he was three classes ahead of him for a moment i thought of giving him a piece of my mind that means whatever i was thinking i should tell him thinking that means to tease him that now you are just two classes ahead of me but he was so heartbroken that i sincerely sympathize sympathize means i was feeling pity on him with him and i gained a certain amount of self self esteem that means self respect i began to participate freely in games and sports ab iske baad because his brother he thought that his brother will not scold him any more any more because he got first position without that much study and he was free now to play any time and there is no need to set a routine for him 
I began to participate freely in games and sport if he tried to meddle. Now here meddle means to interfere in my work. I would tell him plainly. This line is very important. I have obtained the first position even while playing and having fun. Agar mere brother, if my elder brother said anything to me or tried to scold me, I will say this line to him that with playing and having fun, I have gained the first position, which is important to me. Even though I had not the courage to speak out because he was my elder brother, I don't have courage to speak like this in front of him with such insolence. Insolence means with disrespect, okay? With the disrespectful behavior, it was clear from my demeanor, with my behavior, the way I was behaving, that and actions that this is the way. He was showing his behavior that with the play and everything, study, that I have already gained a lot without studying that much as compared to you. And as I was playing, it is not giving any effect. It is not making or giving any effect on my study. Now, one day when I returned after spending the whole morning playing, my brother pounced. Now, pounce here means spring forward. Wikdam se aage aaye. Upon me, I can see, this is the line said by the elder brother, I can see you have become very smug. Means that you are showing excessive pride. You are getting proud of yourself. That means getting overconfident, okay? Because you have secured the first position. Because you have secured the first position. Aapki first position aaye hai. So, is wajah se bhi, you are getting much more confident than before but my brother pride has not served served well even the greats lekin pride kabhi bhi kisi ko benefit nahi deti hai koi bhali koi kitna bhi bada kyu na ho now is going to give an example you must have read about the fate of ravan ki tumne ravan ki bare mein to suna hi hoga about the ravan story he was the master of the whole earth called the universal king Ravan was universal king because all the kings of the world paid taxes to him. Even the gods of love and rain were his slaves and yet what was his end? Pride totally destroyed him. What have you learned from his story? To have passed an examination is not enough. The real thing is acquisition. Acquisition means to have a skill of wisdom to internalize here means to make a habit whatever you study just to study and pass the exams is not important but to get it in your skills us cheez ko samajhna to get the knowledge is much more important as compared to the cramming okay here his elder brother is telling him this you have passed only one class and your head has turned ki abhi to tumne sirf a class you have you have got the position you have passed it and your at head your head has turned means your attitude is changed in this way you won't go very far agar aise hi chalta raha to tum aage aur acche se kaam nahi kar paoge won't go very far you must realize that you must realize that you did not pass through your hard work. You may realize that you have not passed through your hard work. It was a fluke. It was just a piece of luck. That by luck you have passed. Sometimes a person plays a big stroke. Sometimes you play a big stroke by chance and you get success in it. But that does not make him a great player. If a person plays a big stroke, that doesn't make him a great player. प्लेयर जब तक वो मेहनत ना करे यू विल नो वेन यू कम टू माई क्लास तुम्हें तब पता लगेगा जब तुम मेरी क्लास में आओगे वेन यू विल रीच इन माई क्लास यू विल स्वेट बिटवीन योर टीथ वेन यू विल हैव टू क्रैक यू विल गेट टेंस्ड ओके दैट मीन्स कि आपको आपके कॉन्फिडेंस के बारे में आज तुम्हें तब पता लगेगा यू विल हैव टू क्रैक यू विल हैव टू क्रैक द टफ नट्स ऑफ जोमेट्री एंड एल्जेब्रा God alone save you from geometry. Now he is commenting about the subject as well as he is explaining that life is and the study is not that much easy as he thinks. If you wrote ACB for ABC, you would lose all the marks. As you, have, you girls have also studied, 
geometry everything is important here no one cares to ask these cruel examiners as to what the difference between acb and abc is and why they torture students for these worthless things but these examiners see only what is written in the books they want students to cram everything cram means ratta marna this cramming is called education according to the brother cramming is the way to educate yourself they ask you not uh, actually he is making comment on others not according to the brother but here the brother is making a comment on the teachers and on the educator educators that cramming is the only way to get educated ratta marna hi jo hota hai wo education ka important part hai they ask you to write an essay on the importance of punctuality which should not be less than 4 pages in length who doesn't know the punctuality is good thing who doesn't know the that punctuality is a good thing now he is making a comment over here it brings discipline in your life people begin to love you and you progress in your business how to write four pages on such a simple issue but no you will have to black in four pages and four full cap full cap means full cap a large size of paper now pages full cap pages means big pages the worst part is you are told to be brief that means you have to give a reference write a short essay on punctuality is not less than four pages four pages in brief whole reference otherwise they might have asked you to write 200 pages run fast but slowly here he is giving another example run fast but slowly तेज भागो लेकिन धीरे सी दैट्स अ वेरी ऑड एग्जाम्पल इज इन दैट फनी माय बॉय व्हेन यू कम टू माय क्लास यू विल हैव टू परफॉर्म दीज हर्क्यूलियन लेबर्स दैट मींस हीरोइक टास्क डोंट फ्लोट इन द एयर जस्ट बिकॉज यू हैव सिक्योर द फर्स्ट पोजीशन इन दिस क्लास की हवा में मत उड़ो जस्ट बिकॉज यू हैव सिक्योर द फर्स्ट पोजिशन इन दिस क्लास आई माइट हैव फेल्ड मेनी टाइम्स में भले ही बहुत बार फेल हुआ हूँ क्लास में बिफोर ऑल्सो आई टोल्ड यू दैट राइटर हैज एक्सप्लेन दैट द एल्डर ब्रदर सॉरी द नरेटर हैज एक्सप्लेन दैट द एल्डर ब्रदर हैज रिपीटेड अ क्लास ट्वाइस और थ्राइस फेल्ड मेनी टाइम्स बट आई एम एल्डर देन यू ही स्टिल एल्डर देन हिम एंड मोर एक्सपीरियंस सो mark my words or you will regret later so it's better for you to understand this otherwise you are going to regret about it later